Today I am at Benville, Arkansas. Not that far from my home. It's about two hour drives from Springfield. I just stayed at my parents' place the night before and it's just a one hour drive, so not that bad. The first location is at a farm. This guy owns a restaurant and he actually grows his own produce for his actual restaurant and that's pretty cool. So we were here at 9 a.m. and it was really hot. So uh, I didn't get any video cause like it, we kind of just jumped in right away. It was super, super run and gun. I was the only person who actually had to set things up because like the camera guys, they had the camera set up. They just, they don't set up lights, you know, especially being outside. So I had to set up lobs for whoever was talking. So like I was the only person who was being rushed more than anyone else, honestly. That was kind of stressful, but you know, whatever. The second location, I also didn't get any video for it. Uh, this is just a picture I took for Instagram. This is when we had lunch after we finished filming everything at the location. So we're going to eat and just head on to the next location. This project is for two days in Bentonville and we have a total of, I think like seven locations. So it's pretty rushed. The third location was a bar and I think Bentonville has a big cyclist community so this bar is kind of aimed towards them and we basically got the food shots and interview type style stuff and kind of Bentonville outdoors in general. The last location for day one was kind of a weird one not the location itself but they weren't really notified that we we're coming to film. I think the guy who organized it didn't really tell them what was happening. I think they just thought we we're just gonna be there for dinner but nope we're there to film. So we had to do some logistics with everyone. Uh, thank goodness they were very accommodating because usually when it's something like this, they're usually like, no, no, no. But they were like pretty cool. And they said the chef was pretty shy, but he actually came out and talked as well. So that was pretty cool. This location is pretty high end. It's pretty expensive food, but I think it's a pretty cool location. Uh, it used to be a church, so they just turned that into a restaurant and yeah, I think it was pretty cool. I, I think it's not super crazy expensive, but it is pretty expensive. So that's a wrap on day one. And they were nice enough to give me a hotel for the night. So I don't need to drive one hour back. So uh, I get to chill here. So I brought some charging stuff. Uh, charged my V-mount for some reason in the middle of recording. Luckily, it wasn't a long when we just started, my battery decided to die. Even though it says there's two. Oh yeah, now it's fine. So this this battery's old now. So I don't know how I can trust it, but you know, whatever. And we're using my Rode Wireless Goes because uh, the director wanted uh, to hear what they were saying and so this is what that's for i call it the poor man ifbs this is overkill for how many i need to charge but uh i'm just doing two i actually didn't bring my bag in i've left it in the car because i did not want to deal with it i was like it's enough you know like i'm i'm leaving tomorrow anyway so i don't need to back up anything which like, I think I left my receiver on for my Sennheiser units, so, but whatever, I'll just change batteries. We're not like, I need, it's not like I need like a million batteries tomorrow, so. And of course, use some nine volts here. Uh, two of these were used from the last gig I did, I just never took it out, so they're, they're used up, but I used four in total. But yeah, two beds again. For some reason, we're checking in, the lady's like, Checking in for two rooms? I was like, no, I just need one. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just, just do one, cause like, I don't need two rooms, what the heck. Went to the gas station, picked up some food. Even though we ate some amazing food today, I still kind of want to eat and just chill. It's still not that late, so I probably gotta chill, do something, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Uh, the restaurant in this hotel, Google map or Google said that it's open till 10 despite it being Sunday and I was like are you sure and it wasn't so that's why I went to the gas station this was left in my car all day and so was this so I'm gonna bring it in here and cool it up
But yeah, excitement. So it is June. So it is very hot outside. And this is my phone strap here. And this morning at 9 a.m., instantly when I put it on, it got sweaty. And it stayed sweaty all day. And I'm kind of trying to avoid this strap to smell. Because my old one really smells. And I think I can't avoid it, but uh, I'm going to try to keep this as clean as I can. Because I, I get up to like Talon's face, you know, and I mic them up. And that's usually in my arms. So I don't really want them to be smelling that. And I have no plates or paper towels, so I'm just going to use the box to microwave my pizza. I ended up eating breakfast in the bistro. I met with some of the crew members there because they were sitting in the same place. And I ended up eating all vegetable stuff, nothing with meat, which was okay. First location for day two was at a bike park. And this is a pretty cool spot. If you really like biking or just being outside and general like people like will walk here as well this is a pretty cool spot uh we did a lot here i wasn't able to film a lot because there was too much we had to do i had a lot of problems with my lobs uh, specifically my electro unit the blue one that's sitting right there next to my sennheiser unit there it was it just didn't want to work i didn't know what it was i didn't know if it was the actual transmitter or my lav or it kept saying that the transmitter was low battery, so I was like, oh man. And I ended up using a lot of my Ryko stickies. I was kind of fearing that I was gonna run out. I I still had my Ursa tape, which is I ended up using as well, but I still was afraid I was gonna use it all up. The third location was at a Filipino food truck, and this one was a lot more chill compared to the last two. I wasn't able to get anything from the second location because we were constantly moving to different locations for the shoot but this one is just in one location so i can just like chill and kind of wait and this one was a little hectic strangely because like i think they thought they had a plan but then they had to cook for a bunch of customers that they asked to come and we're supposed to film them but then the cooking took a little bit longer so we just kind of like waited most of the time but it was a pretty cool location it's at a park and uh this park is like Next level is beautiful. There's an airport right next to it. But when we wrapped filming, they all ate. It was about 8.30 at that time, but I had to leave. I was like, I'm going straight back to Springfield. It's going to be two hours. So I didn't get to eat anything, which is fine with me because I kind of needed to run. So it's the next day now. And these are the two batteries that has been acting up on me. Um, the first day, this one kind of did a little bit of strangeness. Uh, it was probably four hours in and it didn't have power and i was like what's going on uh, i thought i need i thought battery died but it was only like two led gone from the five here so i was like it should be like halfway at least and then like around 14 volts area it died and i was like what's going on there right but like like it usually like dies like way after the 14 volts because like, it's actually you know supposed to be 14 volts 14.8 volts, but also like 15.5 volts or whatever when it's full. But yesterday, this one, it was like, we were like maybe three hours and only, and I didn't bring the other batteries, like this one and the other one I brought with me when we're like on the trails, and then all of a sudden it just died. And I don't think twice about it, right? Like, first off, it said 15 volts, 15.5 volts. And I was like, why is it dead? But I don't know, it just died. So I, we finished everything we needed, like the talking stuff, thank goodness. And then we went back to the car, I switched batteries and I pressed the button and it's still five. I haven't charged this at all. It still says it's five. So maybe it's not dead, but maybe the plug here, the D-tab plugs are just messed up. I have no idea, but I mean, I, I got this in 2020, so it's like three years now. And I watched a YouTuber where he talked about this specific brand as well, Dino Lighting, you know, Comer brand, brand. And he has some strange issues with it too. And then 
I think at one point he said that it was overheating and stuff, so he retired it. So I think I'm gonna retire this or at least the detap part because it's been used a lot. I mean, I cycle through these. Like I use this and I use the next one so far in my audio bag. But now that I have actual like other equipment that uses V-mount batteries, um, I think I'll use this like on the 19 inch monitor with the actual ports down here. And you know, hopefully that works fine. So here is the other batteries I bought. Uh, like I said, some core. And uh, these are just better in general, in my opinion. Uh, first of all, it's got a USB port. It's, I don't think it's power delivery though. I think it's kind of older and it's thinner. So just set this side by side. You can see how, how much thinner it is. So when I put it on the gimbals, it's a little bit easier to like balance and you know manage. And it's lighter. Like, not too much, but that makes a difference when you put it in a bag. So, uh, I'm glad I bought these and I brought them with me too. So, yeah. Something that also happened is, so this box here is my Ryko stickies. And you can see there's nothing in here. I used all of it just in within two days. And this is all the trash from it. And it's pretty amazing how much I used. Um... There was a lot of like, not a lot of people switching, but then it was hot, it's Arkansas, and like a lot of sweat and stuff like that. So, and a lot of, a lot of moving to different locations. So I had to take it off and you know, every time you use it, you basically throw it away. So I had maybe like 20, maybe a little bit less. And I'll cut them in half cause they could fit the V6s cause those are small. And I end up using all of it. So that's that's interesting. So I got a new cart and it's an actual camera cart that like everyone uses. Uh like the innovative cart. It's, this is kinda this is the kind of rip off. Not rip off, but like the cheaper brand model, I guess. Uh, it's still great quality. The wheels are great. I think this handle I need to put on the other side, but um I got a new cart because this cart has been causing me so much trouble. Every time I drag it somewhere, screws get loose all the time. They fall off. I do screws all the time, nuts, whatever it might be. I even like upgraded the wheels too. So it's nicer wheels and it will be shaking even more. I don't know if it's something I did wrong or, you know, whatever, or it's a location, but and it's, it, it's still cheap, you know, cheap plastic. So, like, it doesn't feel sturdy. It'll work here and there, but I need something reliable and something strong and kind of all-terrain type wheels, too. So, that's why I got this cart.